appreciate it. What's up, buddy? What up? Yo, Lexi. What's up? So, what's your view on uh, counter-fascist semantics? Counter-fascist semantics? Yes. What the fuck is that? Um, it's a way of organizing our text such that it's anti-fascist. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely anti-fascist, but I don't know about, uh, I don't know about all that. Well, it's like, it's like, like, including the words like state or like scapegoat from your text specifically. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't. Okay, that's understandable. Like, there's, there's things I'm very, very good at, you know, like I have some advantages, but there's other things I'm, I'm not. So if I don't, if it's not something I'm good at, I probably won't answer and I definitely am not going to pretend to know shit I don't even be sure of that much. So who's, where did the, this room has a, uh, did everyone here like learn to, to philosophy and to debate from like the same person or something? It feels like everyone has some kind of common, unusual philosophical thread in their head. Like, yeah, just, so we were all trained under a guy named David Lewis. Um, uh, he was a professor at Princeton. Uh, so we, 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 were, we were under his duty. Like, really? Yeah. So, uh, by the way, I have a question. I said, counter fascist. Right, I didn't hear it. I just kind of guessed. What are you got? Like, what? What? What are your like? Uh, I mean, I'm actually more political at this point than philosophical. I'm more, so. Um, I guess I don't know. It doesn't even really matter what 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 philosophical school and what classes you're in. To me. Where are you guys politically? don't give a fuck so I'm trying to build something which uses the, the, the quote unquote profits that are going to be available to, to do better shit you know to try to because so if this world reaches a place where it's great it's gonna it's certainly going to be fucking simulated and gamified first we're going to see an enlightened society in a virtual space before we see one on the face of our mother nature right like there's no chance it's going to get built without tremendously effective and comprehensive and interactive visions of how to do it using a worldwide population of people who are voluntarily a part of the process. Which our species has never had the ability to do that. Like we built this country in a constitution like on a constitutional convention written by three dudes who wore wigs and wouldn't let women in the room. Like it's an antiquated mechanism that we're that we're still living with. I mean my company's called Democracy with a Z. Like I believe in constitutional democracy and not winner take all like i believe in, in in so many cases when when the people are split on an issue like 70 30 what i believe is that you need to experiment so you take you let the 70 take the support of the 70 and you let the 30 take the support of the 30 and you have them compete you say yeah are we going to spend extra money to run this contest of course but are we going to find the answer yes like the the right in America, the Republicans and the Democrats, nobody gets to try what they believe in for real, right? They just deadlock each other. Nobody actually gets to to perform experience, to perform experiments, and 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 prove truths. And I think the Democrats might be smart if they didn't always have to fight the right. Like they might actually be decent if they didn't have to pander to like minorities the way the right panders to fucking evangelicals and racists. But I take social I take social justice warriors over racists every fucking day of the week, and I take black people over evangelicals every fucking day of the week. There's never been a question. Black people are real. Evangelicals are almost 100% people who have been turned into cannon fodder because their life got so low that they needed a fantasy to keep surviving. To be. <laughs> Oh fuck, I dropped my phone. Shit. What's up? Uh, I mean, are there believers?
drivers in here? Are there a lot? Like, what's the what's the makeup? Uh, I call myself a Type A theist, right? I'm not really an atheist, but I'm 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 certainly uh, atheist in the face of any of the existing gods. Like, I'm a writer. God didn't write that shit. God is not less intelligent than than myself. He's not like less intelligent than y'all. You know, if he exists, he's a lot smarter and he's not going to write some shitty book full of contradictions, correct? And threatening. This is the, this. So I get excited. This is the thing that bothers me, right? Like they, free will is the reason why hell needs to exist, right? Like because of our free will, we can have the choice to do bad. Therefore, we can burn. And it's like a necessary condition of heaven that we have free will and, and choice. So because of that, you create hell, right? But hell is a threat. And in, in the case of torture, threat of torture, free will doesn't mean anything. Like, you scare the living shit out of people, they don't have free will. I mean, there's no real free will anyways. There's relatively relatively free will. And once you believe in hell, you, 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 you're not free at all. Like, you're, you're completely modified from, from being a natural being. That's why I call it cannon fodder with one end. Most people just use the one kind of cannon fodder, you know, the iron balls fired by gunpowder. I believe cannon as in religious, you know, doctrinal texts is just worse than actual cannons. Okay, yeah, uh, you're saying the one small, I mean, I would say it was a little weird tone. I and mean, you think about the, they're not like, you know, this, you, you, you think like punishment, like legal punishment for crimes is like restricting free will. Ah, uh, legal punishment for, for crimes. I mean, so me, yes. But, yeah, I think, but but it's not the, it's, we don't want unrestricted free will, like, I mean, freedom is this, right? Freedom is all about the lines that are drawn between people. It's all about the gray areas. Where does my freedom end? The only question is, I'm free as long as I don't start to impinge upon you. And as long as I don't impinge upon society and as long as I don't fucking pour oil into rivers. But, like, yeah, I think that, that you have to limit free will from being able to go crazy and do whatever the fuck it wants. Especially in a world which is so dark that there are sick fucks all over the place, right? And they'll say... But it's but it but it's not that effective. Um, and and a law chosen by people consciously through their representatives, even if it's that, that's a different story than presenting a case from an omni scientist and an omnipotent that is fake and threatening you to get your behavior. The system we have is much more real than the Bible. Like, I know the United States is fucked in a lot of ways, but it's much more legitimate than a story that simply says, I, I, like, the supreme creator of the universe came from nothing, and here's the game that he invented. Like, if it made sense to me, I might debate it, right? It doesn't even make sense. It's not even intelligible to me. Yeah, I see what you're saying, yeah. I, and I got kids. My kids are never going to fucking hell. My mom didn't go to fucking hell. And and think about this: if you're in heaven, right? Say you're a mom, you go to heaven, right? But one of your kids, one of your kids goes to hell. It's over. Like the whole construction is over. It can't be. And I don't know what I don't know what fallacy that is, but it's like, it's it's an epic fallacy. And if I'm trolling, I'll be like, and, and like I'm confident enough to say this because I have an epic phallus. See. I got a big dick. I'm just kidding. My, my kid's mom says it's average, but she's she's a, she's a bit of a bitch. So, you guys know you guys know how they determine the average size of a fucking hard dick? I mean, any guesses? No, the people that submit for the test always have bigger cocks, so they can't do that. Little dicks don't volunteer to get their dick measured. They do it when you they die. Run to you on the street. No, they do like, it. When, they do it when you die. They measure. What? They measure dicks at the morgue. But what is everyone like? Is this inch when they die? Because they're slowly leaving the body. Um. What? How does that make sense? They're measuring it on like older people on average. Wait, how can you measure the erection? Rigor mortis. I have, I have no idea what the real answer is. I just don't know they, how they figure out the average. They don't measure it when you're a kid. Does your doctor measure your cock? How do they do it? How do they do it? They're probably lying. The average dick is probably like seven inches, you know, and they, they say it's 4.5 or 5.5. Who the fuck knows? You can't. It's fake news, dude. Fucking 
No, but but how do, how do, how just want that to be the truth. How many how many dicks have you seen? Like all the dicks you see are your well, I mean there's definitely a lot of people around who see dicks, but like I only see mine and porn. Like, I don't know. How do you... Where do they figure out how big we are? I'm done with this. I just don't understand. I don't have an answer to it. I say morgue, but that's a joke. Oh, that was a joke? Okay, okay. I don't know. Sample, man. No, the, the, question, the question he was asking is like, well, isn't there going to be some bias for people who volunteer? Well, I think it be selection bias. That's what this point is, right? Wait, if you think there's selection bias, people like, like you know, get selected, huh? automatically have like bigger dicks on average. Then just you know, assume that the, the average penis size is just automatically smaller than whatever the studies say. It's right. a, like, it's called. Results from studies like pretty small though. Yeah, yeah that means they're even smaller. It's not a selection bias. It's a surrection bias. Oh, uh, it's okay. still a selection bias, man. That's what I said. I. I, I <laughs> I call what happened in the Bible ejaculate conception. I'm sorry, I don't mean to offend anyone. That's hilarious. And I say what I say is just for like extra extra vernacular ejaculate. I mean, I am a poet probably more than anything. Sorry. Okay. Have you ever said extra sensory perspective like ever, or do you just is everyone just default to extra sensory perspective? Extra sensory. Wait, what's the one everybody says? Extra sensory perception is what everyone says. ESP. But yeah, but ESP has an extra sensory perspective. I, I mean, I think it's better. And again, I hate the old words and I hate the old gods, so forgive me. Am I just am I just here dancing as a monkey, or does anyone actually respect me here? I'm not like I feel like you're not fucking with me too much. Yeah, no, they're not the other guy, Miguel, he was like, he was a lot of I don't know if Miguel, I've heard of Miguel and Chillism, but I didn't really, I don't, like I talked to him a little bit here, but I didn't really know him before. Yeah, he's, he's a big fan. I'm, I'm watching his videos actually in here. I mean, it, 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 from the right perspective, I am very funny. There's no doubt some people are, amu are really amused by, like, what the fuck I am. Other people can't stand my ass, like, obviously. Like, other people are just like, fuck this trash. Yeah, that big he's always he he loves me, dude. He the dude's fucking. He's probably my. He's like he was my stalker for like a week. He wouldn't stop. But whatever, it's fine. He's not. Nobody's fucking with me. I'm not like I think that I publish and everyone's gonna know me, and then I gotta worry about someone Lindbergh babying my kids. Oh fuck! Everyone's gone. God damn it! I missed a meeting. Fuck. What? I was supposed to meet. Uh -huh. I was supposed to meet people up at at this uh, park, and I got here too late. Fuck. Oh, is it the one that you're supposed to smoke weed at? Yeah, it's where I was yesterday when I had the microphone hanging out the fucking window. I just... Oh, okay. Yeah, but... Wait, <laughs> where do you... You should know, I'm asking, where do you, like, what part? Um, I assume it's the U.S., but... I'm, like, in, I'm, in, I'm in the Elmwood Village. You just type in Elmwood Village on Google Earth. You can probably... It's in New York. Yeah, but it's like, it's right in the middle of Buffalo. Like, a lot of Buffalo is poor as fuck. This is a nice area. Wait, aren't you supposed to be, like... Are people like all staying inside? No, New York City's fucked, but uh, all the grocery stores are still open. All like the, most of the restaurants are still open for takeout. Like if you, we can gather in the park as long as like we're not having an orgy or some shit, it's it's pretty chill. People are being careful Damn. though. Well, there goes my day. You you you're doing a naked orgy in the park? Detroit does that sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but um, no, I'm not gonna say that. He's a little weird. Detroiter has made it up to like fifty six thousand in in Slither. So as no, a, no, I got, I got uh, I'm better. I'm like better than Detroiter one because I can get to that number without cheating. And two, there is no other two. It's literally just that Detroiter cheats. All, wait, all, I don't know if it counts as cheating. I mean, yeah, that's Richie, what you heard a little is bit. Richie in the room? Because Richie will attest to this. Anybody who watches you play Slither versus me will know that the Zoom is cheating. It's like oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Detroiter. Can't we get? I don't know why you're why you're doing that, Detroiter. Can't... You obviously cheat. You just can't handle the natural dudes. <laughs> the, the, the regular view, I don't think Detroiter would get um, as high as he's thought. All right, fine. You want me to do it? Fuck. Yeah. Okay. 
Is there any way we can set up our own little Slither server? Can you, like Minecraft, can you do that or do you have to pull? I don't think so, no. Fuck. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a race to number one starting now. Right, right, right. Hang on, I'm just cutting in. Nope, no. Uh, no, fuck, it didn't work. Uh, how do I do it? Fuck, you guys, I'm gonna play this game again? God damn it. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I played. Oh, wait, is this the destroyer? Is this how you got in Sliver? Did uh, Alexi get you into it? No, he got me into it. And I played 24 hours uh, in a row two days ago. A whole day straight. Just trying, oh. just trying to break 10 grand because I'm twitchy right. as fuck and scared. Alright, I just, I just started. I just started. I'm gonna start too. Fuck. Is there no full screen? Is there no full screen? Uh, I, I, what do you mean full screen? You just have the tab. Yeah, exactly. Be, be in my room. Be like in my level, Detroit. Come on. Half the time I die, it's because I do shit like leave hot corners on my Mac and I go to like make a hard move and my, my mouse hits the corner and the screen disappears like and I die. Oh shit, I, I actually can't relate to that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a great gamer. My son, my son. Oh, that's kind of a unique issue to you because like uh, my computer doesn't do that. I guess it's just because I have a Mac maybe. No, I have a Mac. Don't You don't use hot corners? No. Oh, you just I don't move. even know what that is. You just, if you go to uh, the settings and you go to, uh, I'll tell you what it is. You just, you can pick all four corners of the screen. And if you move the mouse into the corner, like I use one for desktop, one for screensaver. Oh, that's that's actually pretty interesting. Yeah, okay. I actually might end up doing that. That sounds kind of cool. It's Wait, where, where, what's the leaderboard where you guys are? Oh my, ah, uh, this dude's an idiot. Oh my God. Come, come on. Oh, this other dude. Um, leaderboard right now is, uh, quit. Oh, we're on the same one. Uh, get a team casa. Can we play? Can, I want to make. I'm on the same one. I want to make an aerial slither. I want to make. Relax, yeah. Can we do 3D slither? Like, like you fly jets and it leaves like a a two B. Holy shit! I just killed a huge dude. Holy fuck! I feel like that's actually a move. Wait, that's actually a really cool idea. I'm not even gonna lie. Like 3D slither, but with the jets. Like I mean, 3D I mean, jet slither. I mean, that's a version of what we called, I called something uh, dog. I was gonna say the first rule of Slither Club is like we play Slither, but we don't talk about Slither. And the second thing was a thing called Dog Fight Club, right? Which is like, I wanna set up flight simulators. I know some pilots. Oh, I'm, Dog Fight, yeah. Wait, do you, do you have the old, um, you don't talk about the old like Flash game Dog Fight? No, uh, no. I just wanna, I wanna, I wanna literally have dog fights like F-22 versus Sukhoi-20. Oh, wait, then some people are gonna die. No, no, it's it's just in, in a high level simulation. You play, but in, oh, okay. but in real dogfights, the two pilots can't drink, can't do shots, and talk shit to each other, right? So it's like oh, Top okay. Gun's like Maverick versus Iceman, but they're talking shit to each other and they're fucked up. Okay. I love flying, dude. I love flight. It's like my I was applying to the Air Force Academy when I was twelve years old until my mom annoyed the shit out of me and I said, "I'm not." Hey, gonna... You should talk. You should talk to Miguel. He's, he's interesting. Dude, flying hey, Miguel, is. Miguel, like a surprise. That's good. He'll learn about the underlying shit. There's, I have some ideas. Like I believe that we're gonna have. I mean, again, I have to. I have to have a bestseller. My business plan has to best sell, or, or or none of my higher level plans take place. But I believe Google's building like a new mini city uh, out, like in Toronto. Basically, have you guys heard of that? They're like building. It's a huge piece of industrial property, and they're building like a mini smart city right in Toronto. I live close to Niagara Falls, so we're gonna try to set up like uh, jet zeppelin service from here, from Toronto to uh, to Buffalo and and to Niagara Falls, and and they're crazy, but uh, and zeppelins are like lighter than air travel has a lot of limitations, but under like a hundred miles, you can actually carry enough fuel, and with computer modeling and aerodynamics, you can create a shape changing uh, exterior. Do for you at uh, four thousand. Oh, same. Fuck you, cut that. Oh, oh shit, big dude just died. Oh no, I'm gonna get like nothing. This is awful. Fuck. I'm at 6,000 now. Oh shit, well, I'm still at 4K. I'm gonna play in my truck. I just parked where I was supposed to have a meeting. I'm gonna play some Slither in the fucking truck and smoke some weed for me. Uh, sorry. Oh, this, oh my god. This dude just circled a huge dude. What the fuck? Wait, dude. How old are you guys? I'm 20. Uh, 20. 45. 
45, nice. I'm going to be uh, 47 on Eddie Murphy's birthday coming up. I was, dude, I was born on my dad's birthday by force, and I was conceived on the 4th of July in 1972. Well, if I would have been born, no, by like a forceps and shit, like, um, if I would have been born naturally, I would be chill as fuck, right? But instead of me coming out by a natural process, the doctor was going to take a vacation. My mom was pretty private and didn't want any other doctor seeing her vagina or touching her. So they had me born, they had me born a little bit early. And, uh, and I was also born on my father's birthday and I was literally conceived on the 4th of July. Like that might be the movie, one of the movies like conceived on the 4th of July. I'm not really into full length shit. Like I'm into skits. If an idea can be told in three minutes, you make a three minute idea. If the idea takes six hours, you make a, a six hour idea, right? Like fuck 90 minutes at the theater bullshit. And, and ideally like people, if, like the best shit, when you watch one of our creations live, you will not know, you won't know how long it is, right? So you don't, if you watch it and you haven't been spoiled, it, you don't know when it's gonna end. On Netflix, you always know when the ending's coming. Which, which isn't, it, it isn't great. Yeah, I think using left and... Wait, can you ring that the keys? No, it's, that's, it's like the default. Uh, I didn't think of... Oh, well, maybe you're right. I don't know, I guess I've never used the arrows. I just always use mouse. Because you have a mouse, yeah. One thing I always wanted, I always wanted some like uh, something called I called it hand mice. It was just two ambidextrous mice, right? One for your left hand, one with your right hand. Five but buttons each with a direct down push, a pull back, and a, like I hate having asymmetrical peripherals. And I, I mean, I use two. Comp I use like a split keyboard system. And and and. and, and Oh, I, I, I killed I America. Dude, I'm doing this. Wait, oh god. I'm gonna do this oh, with a trackpad. What the fuck? I'm trying oh, trackpad, Slither. I'd be so pissed. I almost just started to play while recording my face, and, and then if I had a great game. Thanks, Russia, for joining me. You would have recorded your face instead of. Your yeah, game. I hate that shit. <laughs> the other night, there was uh, this crazy ass meta screaming match in Chillism between Sam and myself and Bacon Bone. And I thought. And then there was an awesome talk after that, right? And I thought. Fuck. Then I found out later that somehow it was just reading wrong in OBS. I had the audio from the sh the fucking shit show, the shit show, and the stuff that was really important to me just disappeared. And I said to them like in the beginning, I'm like, yo, I lost the audio proving that Sam is a total fucking douche boxer, right? I lost it. But oh shit, huge snake just crushed me. Um, Did anyone else have it? Wait, wait. I. Wait, wait. Sorry, 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 wait, who's the leaderboard for you guys, number one? Relax. Oh, me, you are at the same relax. I'm, I'm coronavirus, too. Yeah. Wait, wait, do you have the relax one? Uh, I just died. Let's see, let's see if I'm stopped. Look, I just died, too. I'm not on coronavirus. I'm on cuddles, what are you? What's the same machine? Oh, oh, I gotta apologize. I'm high as fuck right now, so, um... That's okay. Alright, like... Thanks, bro, don't worry. Like I get, I can't smoke a lot. I take one, one hit gets me high as shit. Like, and I was born high as fuck already. So. Oh, so. I just killed. I just killed. I lose in this game. Fucking suck. I can't move when I want to. Okay, I just lagged there. I mean, I didn't lag. I mean, I lagged like crazy, but then I just sounds like coke. Sounds like coke, bro. I was lagging. I was trying to turn left. Fuck. Okay, I'm two thousand now. That's good. I killed. 
All right, I'm gonna go play Sliver. Harder destroyer to play like a normal human being. No, no, I wouldn't have died there if I wasn't fucking lagging. No. I I don't know. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Oh, I have a I have a. Dude, this game is brutal. <laughs> I have a closing state. I have a closing statement here. <laughs> yeah. So, no, no, no. It, it was it was just to finish that so I can close the loop for myself. Like I record a ton of shit, right? So, if I were to like record and the microphone were weren't plugged in, right, and I capture my face, then then macro bots can just read my lips, right? Like hell can just read my lips. There's so much video of me speaking that anything I say can be perfectly recognized by the computer. So if I do that, so I'm like, oh, I'm cool because I didn't have audio, but it can read my lips. The stuff that I really wanted, I had switched to, to, to streaming my my laptop screen, and if I stream my laptop screen and I don't have audio, then hell can't read my lips. That's it. Damn. And one more thing, one more thing. There's a thing called the open mic ring in, in my pre-science fiction. An open mic ring is really just a fucking ring, right? And it has a microphone on it, and in, in the ultimate its ultimate use case in the story is when there's a revolution that goes down because people speak a password into a microphone that's on a ring on their finger in their own fucking voice and in order that all the surveillance state doesn't d determine when the revolution's happening everybody holds their hand up over their mouth like they're coughing and the microphone pates in points in so hell can't read your lips and skynet can't read your lips because like there's going to be an, a fucking epic fight that epic fight is going to be like i think the world's greatest mmorpg reality playing game it's called and it, it's called it's called it's called game it's called it's called game over lords game over lords uh, no 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 it's ready prayer one it's ready uh, die? Get wrecked. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Huge. Wait, wait. I'm at 6,000. Who's that? Why do I. I don't. I, I want. The same. I'm in the same. Okay, I'm at 6,000 right now. I'm only at uh, 800 something. I just said. I'm at 175. Why are you so bad at this game? Dude, we need to. <laughs> they would give us a. Fuck, 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 f
best. Dude, we, I kind of want to play this dude, game. I just, I just dunked on some huge dude and just jumped up like 500 points. Five, five, 500? Yeah, that's a lot, right? Are you Yo, can you? I know that there's fuck. Uh, I don't think so. Can this game machine? Can this game machine uh, learn anything? Can this game learn anything from us? No. Not even like like beautiful mind uh, chickens without head shit. Like something is probably in here. No. I, I mean I said no yesterday. I said categorically like you can't learn from this. But oh my god. What what if you're a, oh what if you write a little bot like a little algorithm okay, and then te test it against? I thought I got that guy. Fuck him. I'm gonna have to leave. And then you test it against the other snakes, right? Let people write small algorithms to determine how a s snake behaves, and then run a simulation. Oh yeah, no, no, no. There's, there's stuff like there's stuff like um like there's there's like AIs that they put this leather, but they're all they're like god awful. But is there like yeah. could could we make a game where each person gets to kind of customize their their so-called AI? Well, that'd, and be, then... that'd be kind of interesting, actually. Like AI leather, where you customize how your AI interacts with everything. Yeah, a million switches. Like they don't have to write code. It's just an assembly of code, right? Like and at that. That's... That's actually like pretty interesting, yeah. Um, okay, don't. Oh I'm gonna delete this server, by the way. So that everyone's <laughs> no, I can't. No, that idea was again? that idea was so bad. He's gonna delete the server. That's... No, no, no. That's not the reason. I just, uh, I just want everyone to move chills. I'm so I'm just gonna delete the server. No, wait, 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 leave it for today. Yeah, leave leave it for fine. leave it for one day. Like just, it's nah. like a, what? Nah. Wait, this is part of chillism to me. Aren't you guys like family with chillism? Everybody? No, 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 no. Really. Okay, can somebody here program a bot where in any of these rooms everybody can anonymously vote on everybody else on like 10 categories and we can see that fucking data? Are you guys against that? Uh, give, the, give Kofi that uh, challenge and I'll do it. Is he, he's, he knows enough to do that. Or he... Kofi's a coding whiz, yeah. I mean, that, I that's why... Tofi is a batshit character. Tofi is fucking batshit. I would put Tofi, like, on, I'm not Tofi's biggest fan anymore, but I would put Tofi on the board of directors, the first alpha board of directors. Tofi's getting kicked. First, he's first one getting kicked. No, but he's funny, dude. He's a funny, weird dude. I mean, I... <laughs> he is a fucking strange, strange motherfucker. <laughs> All right, everyone say goodbye. But, no, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. We just talked about really important shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> He fucking killed the server. Holy shit. Dude, that is... Oh, no he didn't. Sorry. That was just the video. Is the room gone? What the fuck? <laughs> that is weird. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, I think for here... I gotta stop smoking. Honestly, like, smoking this is the worst fucking thing. That was so strange. Means all over and shit. Those pods are expensive though. What's going on in here? I'm about to buy at Walmart. It's a uh, Roku Smart TV, HD Smart TV, 32 inches. It's only the 720 whatever P means, but it's only $100. Is there something, is there, is there something wrong with it? No, it's just an old model. Does it... <laughs> Do any of these TVs have like uh, cameras that would make them more believable as uh, 1984 play telescreens? They don't. Do they, they don't, right? Like they don't have great cameras in them. Any of the smart TVs, do they? Do they have cameras? I don't think they. I don't think they have good cameras, right? Like they're not really telescreens. But if like I would certainly like clip on a great camera, to, like, then I can stand and do the shit I do like right in front of a big ass fucking screen, which is better than a goddamn laptop, right? I haven't owned a television in years, but since I'm stuck at home now, I'm going to buy one right now. I'm jealous. I'm gonna get a. I have a 15 second video of when my TV fell down and smashed, and it was not on purpose. You just happened to be recording. No, I I, I was like redoing some some weird shit in my apartment. Um, 
and when I do things, I record. If I rearrange or clean or do co like have conversations or play games, I record that shit. I don't record everything, but when something's happening, I do. And rearranging in like my apartment and building the weird shit I do, like I like to be able to time lapse it. And the TV broke in, in the middle of it. I was just in that place called, uh, I don't even know, what was the server called? The Vienna Circle. And it was really fucking weird and hilarious for a little bit. And the one dude was just like, I'm gonna kill the server. And so everyone goes back in, in chillism, I think. I mean, maybe he just made me think that he killed the server, but the whole thing just evaporated. It was weird. Dude, that server's mega cringe. I mean, I they were playing Slither and talking a lot, and I said, like, I had, like, two new ideas while I was in there. Um, so I, I was fine. Like, it was, it was friendly for the very short while. But I, I mean, I think I got kicked twice already. Like, so it's, this is funny shit. Like, I, I never even, like, really bounced around these communities properly and figured out how the fuck do these, does all this shit connect together. I mean, to, to, like, when it comes to cringe, it's kind of a to each their own thing, right? Like, different people definitely think that different shit is fucking cringe. In the same community, too. Yeah, I agree. So you gotta, like, have, you know, eight hours of this kind of content, eight hours of this kind of content, eight hours of this kind of content, so everybody at least gets eight hours of what they like, even if that means that certain people only get eight hours when they could probably be dynamic enough to, to have the right chemistry that they want all day long if they dealt with their data and their preferences correctly. I fucking love Discord lately though. I absolutely love it. It went down for a couple of minutes and I, I was like, am I the one who's gonna be the most upset? I wonder if people overload though, like if it's just too much, you know, like <laughs> if they're like, in, like there's so much community for people, you know, like, like every day. I'm sure I couldn't hang around my, my family this much. I mean, my like family I come from, no way. Do you guys mind a very small amount of pretty fucking quiet ambient noise for a couple minutes? Go for it, man. I don't think anybody's talking right now. Like I hear like birds, you know, sometimes if it's quiet and there are beautiful birds around, yeah. I, I have that a good, sounds nice. I have a decent, you can hear the birds? No, I'm just saying that that idea sounds nice. Oh. Yeah, if only I were an executor, it would be awesome. I say I'm ASM Army, like the ASM Army. <laughs> I mean, I bet if everyone just wore a necklace that captured ambient sound, like every minute of every day, there'd be like some hyper popular audio stream from somewhere in the world with just like the most amazing fully surround sounds. Usually I like, I'm always like, oh, stream your screen and show what you're seeing so it can spread viral. Like, but I never thought of it just like, what about just, just sound? But ASM Army is a word I like though. Like, 
And it doesn't mean like we're the ASM army. We're not a fucking army. We're just saying like ASM army, you know, like give me some cool shake. Make some, you know, make some cool sound. Make something beautiful. And the birds fucking stop singing. Thanks, birds. You think I just annoyed them and just like, like the birds stop singing and there's some fucking crickets? I mean, see, in my world, the best, the best, the best scenario is like I say some crazy shit for like 30 minutes one night and without knowing it, right? And I finish this amazing thing, the most famous speech my character ever makes. And halfway through the speech, I'd been banned from the room, right? So I think that everybody's listening, they're being quiet, <laughs> but I'm gone. Like three of the best conversations I had in my yeah. life happened on phone calls with people who I thought were listening and they were listening at first, but something happened so that they weren't there. And when I finished the thought, I was so happy. And then I was like, oh fuck, not again. The only reason I finished the thought is because we were silently disconnected. That sucks. No, but if yeah, you, the birds sound nice. The if you birds sound nice, by the way. Nice. If if you come into our space and you do voice, like if you get on, like a board of directors or a board of a board of directors, and and you're interacting with people on voice, if I'm talking, and you talk, the standard rule set would be such that when you talk, you immediate your voice immediately goes into a, a concise digital file, and sends to the we'll say to the to the blockchain whatever. Um, it sends it to the atomic clock chain, uh, and it appears as like a chat bubble in 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 the record of all of our text and vocal interactions as we try to uh, make something great. There's more, but I'm looking around high as fuck. I'll get back to it. Oh, so if I'm talking, right? I'm I'm talking for five. The great one of the greatest scenes in the Unholy Grail, I think, is you have this dude. You have this board of directors, right? Thirteen thirteen knights of the Unholy Grail, and I call them Awake and Baker's Dozen, like they're all, most of them are stoned. Um, and they all have like, they all sit in these amazing like fucking Vitruvian uh, chairs, and they have a thing that pulls over their head like old ladies used to use to, to like dry their hair. So the person, my character starts speaking, right? And as he's speaking, one by one, the other dudes in the room who are listening they press a button and it causes them to ice. Actually, they just speak, right? They say, oh fuck, that gives me an idea. And they just start talking. Immediately, it cuts me off without me knowing. They start creating their own fucking train of thought. And when they're done, the standard settings would be such that it would ex then it would take them back to me and what I was saying, because it's probably a long train of, train of thought too. And it would start that immediately and it would play it back at a, an, an accelerated speed like like in the snake game chasing someone until you caught back up and i was literally live again no one's gonna be fucking interrupted like no one's gonna be fucking interrupted and there's another system which is the opposite of that well, actually no there's a, there's another system for non non moderated or self-moderated debates where you simply have a conk it's a throwable conk each person in the debate gets 90 minutes or whatever fucking time you agree upon you do not talk when you don't have the conk. You throw the conk to one another, and if you drop the conk, you fucking lose the debate, and the other person gets to use all your time because you can't even focus. Um, and you can use as much time as you want. You flip a coin, or you spin You spin a, a flat earth coin. It determines who goes first, and you can use your 90 minutes. Dude, who are you talking to? I haven't heard anybody else say anything. Nobody, I don't, I, no, like, and if somebody... Yeah, he talked to himself. I said, it, the... the if you, at that point, yeah, I was probably just going on because nobody was saying anything at all. And the idea that I could express a, a ten-minute thought at some point in the future, and people would actually pay attention, like it's 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 interesting and entertaining to realize that to actually do that, you'd probably have to fucking kick or mute me because someone will say something, even if no one else is going to talk about anything. I always apologize though, like. I could never come in here and just hang out. Like when I'm on the internet, I'm fucking working. I'm sorry. It was just so quiet. And today's been so good. And this week has been so good. Hi, everyone. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Jackie. Jackie. 